Hi and welcome to our video on multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Our learning intentions, I guess, for this video are to be able to multiply and divide algebraic terms comfortably. Okay, what we're going to do, we'll go through some examples here and I'm just going to run through these just to help you understand how to actually do them. Um, you know, if you get stuck, you can pause, rewind, go back to these and it's, hopefully it's going to be of some help to you. Okay. If we have a look at the question here, we've got 3a times 2. So the easiest way to think of multiplication is um, when we have letters involved is basically we just multiply the numbers together in the expression and then we multiply the letters together to get the, the final part of our expression. So if we think of, have a look at this one here, we've got 3, we've got 3a times 2. So basically if we look, this will be 3 times 2, which is 6. And then a is just by itself, so that'll equal 6a. That's like two lots of 3a basically gives you 6a. All right, over in our second example here, we've got 5d times 4c. All right, so if we have a look, we get our two numbers there, 5 and 4. So that equals, let's break that down for this one, 5 times 4 times d times c. So that one equals 20dc. Now we'd actually rewrite this to be 20 CD so that the, um, the letters are in, in alphabetical order, just to, just for um, ease of reading. All right, down the bottom we've got 3X times X now. So what we've actually got is we've got 3 is not multiplied, 3 is multiplied by the number next to X, which is the 1. So we've actually got 3, and then we've got X times X, which gives us x squared. So that's 3x squared. And then our final one, this one looks a little bit complicated, but it's not too, it isn't. If we have a look at this, we've got 2 times 9. So we do our numbers first. So that gives me 2 times 9 gives me 18. And then if we have a look at the letters separately, we've got a times a. So we can actually simplify that to be a squared. And then we've got b times b squared. Now the b squared times b, if we remember to our indices, that's b to the power of 1. So b to the power of 1 times b to the power of 2 gives me b to the power of 3. All right, if we look at dividing, very, very similar with dividing, and we actually um, we use the same, I guess, operation with division um, like we would with normal fractions. So if we have a look at our examples here, we can we can look at dividing the numbers, just see if the numbers divide straight away, and then if there's any letters, they may actually cancel out across the numerator and denominator. So if we have a look at this, 14 divided by 2, well that gives me 7, so that, and then A is left on the top one there. So that one's really, really easy, 14 divided by 2, that's great. In our second one, we've got 18AB divided by 3 a. So do our numbers do our numbers actually divide? Yes, 6. 18 divided by 3 gives me 6. Now with our with our letters, what we can actually look at, well the A's across those two lines actually cancel out. So what we actually do is we're, we're left with on that top line, we're left with uh, a B. So that will be 6B. Alright. In our next one here, 15 divided by 30, 15CD divided by 36DC. Well, 15 divided by 36, they don't divide evenly. So we're going to have to look for a highest common factor. And then we can actually start cancelling out this fraction. So if we have a look, I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger so we can actually... And I might actually rewrite the bottom line so it's in the same order, CD. So if we have a look, What's the highest common factor of 15 and 36? Well, the highest common factor is 3, the highest number that divides into both of those. So 3 goes into 15 5 times, and 3 goes into 36 12 times. Now the CD and the CD, effectively those two, those two cancel each other out. CD, CD. So we're left with 5 over 12. All right, in our last one, 25 divided by 10. A lot of people might write 2.5 here. That, that, in essence, is correct. But what we want to do is our answer. We want to have our answer in fraction form. Okay, so we're going to look for um, the highest, the highest 
common factor. So between 20, now 25 to now, with this one here, I'm just going to rewrite this one, 25. I'm just going to expand this out so we can just see what's happening. 10 times E times F times F. With the, with the powers, it can get a little bit tricky. Um, but I'll just expand that out so it's a bit easier to understand. Um, and then we can have a look at a quick way of actually doing it. Okay, so what's the highest common factor that goes into 25 and 10? Well, that's 5. So 5 goes into 10 two times. 5 goes into 25 five times. Now, if we have a look at our, um, our letters here, we can actually start to cancel out. So E and E cancel out and F and F cancel out. So on the top line, we're left with 5... E over 2F, so 2F. Now with this one here, if we wanted to actually look at a quick way, we would, we would be able to do the cancelling as we've done there with the 5 and the 2, so we'd be left with... But then E squared and E, basically what we're doing is we're cancelling out one of the E's in that power. So E times E, and we're cancelling out with an E. So we'd say 5E. Now the F and the F squared... Same thing, but it's just on the opposite sides of the of the line. So the top F cancels out, and then we're left with on the bottom two. That E is already cancelled out there. Two F. Okay, thank you for watching our video on multiplying and dividing algebraic terms. Hopefully, you got something out of it.